Today, I'm visiting Pai, a free haven for spiritual travelers, hippies, and party folks. I started my day with a Muay Thai training as usual. Make sure to check out my upcoming video about this sport culture in Thailand. Right after, I got on my scooter and started the three hour long journey from Chiang Mai. It was a great drive. Along the way, I gave my water to a thirsty monk and stopped for a break at a magical little witch house before finally arriving at my destination. During my visit, which only lasted a day, I met travelers who had been stuck in Pai for years, got a tour in a commune, did a tarot reading at a hippie gathering and witness the stunning sunset. Come along with me and see for yourself what many travelers in Thailand consider paradise. Hello to all. Well, I'm about to leave for Pai and this little baby right here is going to take me there. I've decided that I want to drive up there by myself. The wheels on this thing are fairly small, so uh, I'm going to take it easy because uh, it's a long road and it goes through the mountains. <laughs> Thank you. So arrived here at the spot that I rented on booking.com. It costed 500 baht. It's quite unusual choice of color, I have to say. <laughs> this one, this is how it looks outside. And this place comes with a bonus. A climbing wall. I don't know how safe this is. this one is though. Hello to all from the beautiful Pi. Now I haven't explored Pi yet, but I heard a lot about it. And I'm really curious about what is the big deal? Why do all these backpackers come to Pi? Now I heard that they have some uh, crazy techno parties out here in the woods somewhere. I'm gonna try to find some people that are into that kind of thing. Document the scene a little bit. Now I'm staying at that place over there with the nice flamingos. And this place is about two kilometers from the walking street of Pi. So I decided to leave the bike there and just go for a morning stroll. The smog season starts. So, in about one or two weeks, it will not be possible to see the mountains on the background of Chiang Mai. Is Thai and I dead? Well, not in Pai. And over here, we have some beginning bike riders. You know, it's possible to get courses here. This is the walking street of Pai. It's pretty different from the walking street in Pattaya. The place is still waking up a little bit, I think. It's still in the AM. I bet it's a very different place here in the evening. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Yeah? Where are you from? Uh, Israel. Israel. What, do you br what brings you to Pai? Oh, most of the people go to Bangkok, Pattaya. What, what brings you over here? Uh, that's a very, you know, it's very hard to compare Pai to Bangkok or Pattaya. I'm sure that the people going that were like those places know exactly what they want. Uh, for me, Pai is a holy place. It's like everybody here feels at home, very therapeutic. Um, people come here to chill, to improve. There uh, are many, many different like, angles for Pai. I see you already standing with a beer. It has a bit of a reputation of a party city as well, right? Uh, Tell me, can I find something today, you think? Today you have like an art festival. Really, you should check it out. How long are you staying here? Um, almost four months. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, enjoy, man. It was nice meeting Bye. you. You know, this has the reputation of being a place that is off the beaten track. But then again, it's not really off the beaten track because it's so famous that a lot of people come here. And here we have a water mill with some little tables so you can have a little breakfast, lunch or dinner sitting here while observing how the wheel of life proceeds. How are you doing, man? Yeah. yeah, good, good. What time you started drinking? No. And a lots of weed shops. Yoga classes, scooter classes, tattoo classes. I bet they're probably joint rolling classes as well. Dangerous corf there. 
And apparently it is, because I saw one guy almost fall down just now with a scooter. Become a certified hypnotherapist. You can learn how to hypnotize people. It's actually pretty cool. You got these uh, narrow little roads. People walking uh, in between little resorts. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Yanni. I'm from, I guess, Thailand. I sell weed right here, the butt tender of Siam Cannabis. Is the cannabis uh, biz uh, industry booming here in Pai? Is in the rest of Thailand? Uh, I would say yes, it is booming. Maybe Even more so? A little bit <laughs> oversaturated. <laughs> like, you know, you can take two steps and there's another weed store. In the beginning, yes, we were making like so much money every day. Now, okay, it's chill down, but I would say it's still, uh, you know, the bands. Okay. <laughs> you said it in, in the beginning, how long have you been in Pi? Uh, a year and a half. So what was it about Pi that made you stick around here for one and a half years? It's a people, it's a vibe. Like, of course, there's a lot of like crazy tourists that you just want to choke right away. But uh, honestly, uh, this place also attracts like really cool uh, people who want to discover themselves, who want to like, uh, you know, they're outcasts of their place. So they come here and they group up with other outcasts. So it's just like a melting pot. Is this a place you get stuck in? Yeah, I would say, yeah, there's a term for it, like pie hole. Most of my friends, they're foreigners too, you know, they, they got either like, they've got a working visa or they volunteer around here. And yeah, it's the same story. One week here and now I'm never leaving and stuff like that. So yeah. honestly, it's awesome. The guy at the Weed Shop uh, recommended me to go to Woodcut and Paint. I'm gonna check it out. The best way to find the Easter eggs is to ask the locals. I drove a bit past the the art festival that I was planning to visit. Came across this little place here, Valhalla. How long have you been living here? May, nearly seven years. What makes this place special? Why does it attract a certain, you know, caliber of tra uh, of backpacker or a traveler? And well, why that's do definitely changed, hasn't it? The caliber. Yeah. Original hippies would come here when it was dirt roads and it was, not much it was going travelers on. And, and no, like, people, in a way. Yeah, right. and like anywhere, a place gets more and more popular. Or has it changed for the, for the worst or for the best? It depends who you talk to. Yeah. For you? For me, I don't mind. It's changed. The town's but getting bigger and The town is making more money than ever. Yeah, the town's it's making more money. It's good for business owners, but it's not too good for local people. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, there didn't used to be all these parties. Half-naked drunk people walking through temples and shit. There's just no respect anymore. Yeah, that mm. seems to have been lacking. The kind of reading up on where you're going and the, the local customs and culture. Often they're drunk and so they're just wandering around town in their G-strings and their what not, which, you know, okay, if that's what you want to do at home, but that's kind of where the disrespecting of the local customs comes in. And of course, we come from different places where, yeah, you know, women can be free to show as much skin as they like, but also there's a level of respect that needs to be adhered to, I think, when you're traveling in a different country. It's quite remarkable because it's a, it's a country of contrast, right? If you go to the bigger cities, Bangkok or Pattaya or whatever, the sex industry, I mean, the, the thing Thailand is you know, yeah, most known course. for abroad, but on the other hand, when you're looking at traditional Thai culture, they're actually very conservative, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Pai is like a little island of its own, where right. the Chiang Mai police don't really have authority here because we're in a different district, right. in the Mayong Son district. And the Mayong Son police really don't come out here. They don't really care. The police here is very good. I like them a lot because they, they're very human. You know what I mean? They're on a very good connection with everyone. Better than in, well, you're from Sweden, I assume? Yeah, and the police there don't have a soul, you know what I mean? It's duty first and always follow and always do exactly what you're told. And I have two sisters that are both police and they just follow it blindly, you know? Do no. they smoke weed? No, they never. <laughs> no, they would never. No. They would arrest themselves if they yeah. did, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you guys built this place yourself? Oh, from the bottom up. Is this the first yeah, pillar? Yeah, look at the photos right here. All right, That's okay. It all started. And this was seven years ago? I think this was well, the first one. Have you walked around? Have you seen? No, I would like to. Come here. Oh, yeah, sure. A little tour of Walhalla. The, the, the famous fire pit is where we used to sit every single night. It would just go crazy. When there's 40 people staying there, it's different energy, you know? This is a room. That used to be a little room, just a little shed where someone put a mattress, and that's where you sleep. I stayed in this house for two years. 
for two years you lived here. In this house. I can imagine when it rains, it's not very waterproof, is it? I mean, it was. Yeah. It would definitely, this, this roof is good. Right. It doesn't look like much, but, uh, but it, it's, it's really effective. That's why you see everything is elevated, right? Mm -hmm. We don't have anything actually touching the ground. The only problem is there's no activity here at night. Right. There's not much to do. When it comes uh, to food, you guys are just doing the regular grocery shopping at, at markets? There's No, it's more of the village right here. Very local stuff. You can get cheap everything. Rice, chicken, anything you need. It's like good mattress good everything oh yeah yeah I mean, this is prime living in the jungle i was gonna stay in pai for one week <laughs> that was seven years ago i don't have a reason to go back I don't, that, that's what i wanted to ask don't you miss home no i'm from sweden it's not it's not a fun place all right so if you compare sweden to thailand what what is better in thailand what you cannot find back in europe scandinavia you see this thing here we don't have the that. banana tree no no no. the sun oh the, we don't have that <laughs> that star sweden. over yeah, there yeah. yeah the big star right there yeah I'm, i like that guy he's nice no, we don't have that in sweden this is like my family I've, I've lived here for a very long time i don't like labels myself but if you would c categorize yourself would you call yourself travelers backpackers no, i don't travel hippie? Fucking anywhere what would you call this community like it's if new, you have to put a, a label kind of thing we were just a bunch of fucking crazy people all having a good time together oh this, this is, is the you, kitchen the kitchen yeah <laughs> Not really in use anymore, but it's it's exactly what we needed, you know. So where you get your water from? From the little stream here. Yeah. Little community, an island within an island, Valhalla. So cool. Well, Lucas, thank you for the tour. I'll Yo, be on my you, way. Man. Well, guys, nice meeting you. Take care. All right. Here, huh? All right. Bye bye. Now, this is pretty cool, too. Right on the way to the art festival. It's called the White Buddha. Lots of park bikes, music playing. This must be the place. Why did you come here? Uh, a tarot reading. I've never done a tarot reading before. And what is your name, sir? My name is Pandu from, from Indonesia. My name is Anton. From where? From Netherlands. Oh. Will my YouTube channel become a success? Of course. Yeah. Take three cards. It's a yes. Is it a yes? It's a yes, but there is a but. You are the man of ideas, like there's too many ideas in your mind. You become petrified, like, okay, which one to choose first? Solution is to, to just write it down, to interact with your viewers, ask them what they want. Are you single? No, I have a girlfriend. You can do it with your girlfriend. YouTube Together channel. with my girlfriend. Yeah. And, and how, did, how can you tell it from the cards here? Uh, from the Empress. Ah, okay. Yeah, the Empress is someone that you love that actually can support this. So it can be a success if I course, categorize yeah. and prioritize my ideas. Yeah. If I work together with the person I love yeah. and get inspiration from her yeah. and stop worrying. Yeah. Wow, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, sir. I hope it comes. Thank you.
is setting right now. Two Huts is apparently the place to be or one of the places to be to check out the sunset. Guys, you're missing the sunset. Well, that was the sunset. This is the next day, about 7.30 a.m. I wanted to stay uh, in Pai for a couple days longer. I got a reminder on my phone that I have to extend my visa today. I have to cut my uh, trip a little shorter than expected, leaving my friend Mickey behind. Mickey, take care of yourself, okay? I'm worried about you, man. I'm worried about you. Look at you. You're not taking care of yourself. Now you see why they call this burning season. It's a beautiful drive on a bike here, especially in the morning because as you can see, I'm standing on a highway, but there are hardly any cars. Mm -hmm. 